Just before our newscast tonight, America's Most Wanted profiled violence from straight-edge gangs in Salt Lake City. Police say one straight-edger responsible for terrorizing Utah mink farmers is already behind bars tonight. Here's the exclusive update to the capture of one of America's Most Wanted fugitives. Those who call themselves straight edgers take a strong stand against what they consider many of society's ills, alcohol, tobacco, and drugs. Most are vegetarians or vegans and anti-fur. But straight edge violence in Utah is gaining national attention. Salt Lake City, where straight edge became hate edge. The victims, anyone who disagreed with the so-called poison-free lifestyle of straight edge. Two straight edgers profiled on America's Most Wanted are James Blackman and Adam Pease, both accused of releasing thousands of mink from Utah mink farms in 1996. Pease is accused of firebombing a fur store. But before tonight's episode even aired, police had Blackman in custody. They put together quite a bit of information in preparation for the America's Most Wanted and some of that information panned out. They were able to pick up one of the individuals this morning. Police had information Blackman may have been in New Orleans and alerted Louisiana law enforcement. The vehicle that we believed was involved in, in the activities here in Utah was spotted there in front of the home early this morning, and they went to the home and were able to arrest him there. Now police hope tips from tonight's show will lead them to the location of Adam Pease. The U.S. Marshal's offices are working very, uh, very hard to apprehend him and hopefully within a short time of that, with the, the program airing tonight, that he'd be in custody. James Blackman is charged with malicious mischief, burglary, and releasing of a fur-bearing animal, all felony counts. Today just happens to be Blackman's birthday. A man on parole causes an